Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in with me today. So, um, first things first, hopefully you're going to notice some new quality changes in my videos. I just got a brand new um, Yeti Snowball, or Blue Yeti Snowball microphone shipped in the other day. So I'm using that right now, hopefully it's, you know, working pretty well, hopefully you'll be able to hear me better and not hear like any background noise and stuff, you know? So, as you can see in the title, I'm going to be reviewing Sodi Caps keycaps today. And um, Sodi Caps is run by a couple out here in um, the US. And they're both very nice, very sweet people. And they have several sculpts. Um, amongst them are the Eloc, the Crescent Cap, Jam Jam, Fubsy, um, Pilgrim, and. I can't remember the name of their other um, sculpt, but it's a sculpt that did they did for a um, sculpting challenge. It kind of looks like a like a alien with a hood on or something. I I I'm not really too sure because I ha honestly haven't looked at it um, very much. But um, I'll add some annotations at the end of this video um, so you guys can take a look for yourself. So um, I have. I am a pretty big fan of their sculpts because they make really cute sculpts, um, especially the Fubsy. It's so cute. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or anything, I'm sure that you've seen me like in their comments, you know, just like, you know, Fubsy in all caps and um, like, give me Fubsy, like every time there's a Fubsy sale going on. <laughs> um, but they're very cool. Um, I actually have a couple of stickers that they send when they ship out caps. This is one of their um, very first stickers. It's like a watercolor, um, purple watercolor SC logo on it. It looks like a bottle cap because they used to like make bottle caps back when they, um, or not like real bottle caps, but you know, like bottle cap keycaps um, when they first started sculpting. And then, as you can see here, a very glorious Keanu with a Elok hat on him. You know, shrunken down. I think it's really cute. It's one of my favorite stickers from all the artists and makers, like, thus far. Um, as you can see, I have collected a lot of keyboard stickers. Um, my bottle is full of stickers, Ooh, including a sticker I designed myself for the Los Angeles Mechanical Keyboard Meetup of last year in December 2019. I have a couple um, stickers still left, actually, if anyone wants any stickers just reach out to me <laughs> but anyways back to the artisan showcase so first sculpt that I'm going to review is the crescent cap it is one of the earlier caps that they released it's a blank that has a crescent moon on it with a little star at the end of it it's a very cool design I think it's very like witchy feeling like I don't know like very very cool so this one right here is in the colorway of Sidewalk Chalk. It's a very light pastel blue with some like um, baby yellow colors and a little lavender in there. I think it's a very nice design. Like the moon, if this focuses, focuses in on it correctly, does have like, you know, a little face on it. I think it's very cool, very witchy. And then um, up next is the Elok keycap. It's basically like a little wizard. Or little mage, I'm not too sure which. I know they're not interchangeable, but hey, like let's face it, like a mage hat looks kind of like a wizard hat, okay? <laughs> so anyways, one of the Eloks I have is in the matching colorway for the um, sidewalk chalk crap. And here you go, this is the Elok in sidewalk chalk. Very light pastel blue color with yellow accents and then purple eyes. So I like this cap because it looks like a fun little guy, you know? <laughs> like he's just chilling, he's got a big old hat on, a little cloak. I think it's very cute. See? Um, one of the things that I like about the design and don't like about it at the same time is that his eyes are like right underneath his hat brim. So like if you're typing regularly on a keyboard with this cap on it, you won't see his eyes unless you take off the cap and then just look at them. I like looking at the eyes every now and then because they look pretty cool. They look very clean too. It's just like 
a little shot right there for the eyes. And the sculpt generally does have a lot of like design and detail on it. There's like a, like the little wrinkles and folds in the hat, which I think are pretty cute. There is like the detailing on his cloak. There's like you know little dots, a little cross, and little like you know like zigzags and stuff to show his cool little cloak design. And I also have two more Eloks in different colorways. Um, this one right here, this is gray stone, wait no, gray rose stone, sorry about that, gray rose stone. Um, it's, it, I, I kind of like this one because you can see like the detail in the sculpt a little bit more than the other Eloc. Um, this one is a dark gray color with pink accents on it, only um, pink for the hat and the eyes. It's only two colors on it, but still otherwise a very nice cap. Also totally not, you know, like trying to, you know, sell you guys stuff here, but I am actually selling this cap for retail value. So if you're interested, please hit me up. <laughs> and then one of the other Eloc caps I have, this guy right here, he is black, white, and dark gray. It's like from one of their um, Halloween colorways, I believe. And I really like this one and wish I had like the um, matching cap for it or crescent cap for it. Just because, you know, I like you, these dark, you know, like broody colors and, you know, totally my thing. She's very cool. Sorry for my nails. <laughs> But yeah, once again, you can um, really see the detail in the darker colorways, and I really love that. Like, I love seeing, like, as much as I do like light colors on keycaps, I really enjoy seeing, like, you know, the details on it when they're a darker color. And on to one of my favorite keycap sculpts from them. It is the Fubsy. So Fubsy is a cute, fat, pudgy seal friend, and he's so cute. And you guys will see why in just a second. This right here is the Fubsy in the OG colorway, original colorway. See? He looks just like a little fat seal. He's got little spots on him. The color of a seal has little, um, almost holes, like these indents on the side for his ears. He's got a cute little face and a tiny little nose. It's so cute. Oh my god, I can't get over this cap. It's very smooth, and um, I I just really love the details on his snout. Like if if the camera manages to um, get a little close up, you can see that his snout, you know, like generally, like he has like a cute little like muzzle, you know, detail. And then on the nose, you can actually see like the little indents for the nose. Hopefully that will. Um, focus in. I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to get angles correctly after all this time. But yeah, very cute colorway. One of my favorites. And then I have the... Oh shoot. I actually... I, I'm so sorry, but I forgot the name of this colorway. Um, one of my friends sold him to me, so thank shoutouts to Martakia if you're watching this. <laughs> Um, it's a very cute fubsy. It is black, white, um, little muzzle, and then a green nose and red and blue eyes. I love, like, just, like, tiny little color accents like that. I think it really makes the sculpt and the face pop out, you know? Like, hopefully it'll show up better, maybe? I don't know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But, um, you can't... You can really see like the detail on this one and like the muzzle and like the snout. However, you can't really see like the details around his eyes very well, like on this black color. Mostly because it's very shiny, not like a, um, a matte kind of color. But I still think it's nice. I really love it. You know, part of my like never trade, never sell away collection. And then... Oh my god, I love this one. It was part of their Valentine's colorway. So if you know me, you know I love any keycap that is pink. 
and of course I just had to get my hands on this. It is a Fubsy in all pink, white, and red with a tiny little heart on the top of it. It kind of looks like a bow. I'm not sure if it's focus you thing. No, maybe? Yes. Oh, and I forgot to mention it has little brown eyes too. I think it's so cute. Um, I don't know, like looking at Fubsy in this colorway, it makes me feel like it's not really Fubsy. I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself correctly, but um, when I look at it, it just, it doesn't look like Fubsy. It looks like another keycap just because of the way it's like colored. Like if you compare this to the OG Fubsy, see they, like it's the same sculpt, same cap and everything. Just like the colorway makes it look so distinct when you like color away his little snout. It's still a very cute colorway and I love it. And also they did this cool thing with like some of the um, bee stocks that they had. So for those who don't know, a bee stock keycap is basically like a keycap that has like some defects in it, whether it may be like, you know, the colors off, there's bubbles in the sculpt, or like maybe, I don't know, there's like some scratches in the sculpt or like the stem didn't come out correctly. That's what a bee stock means. So generally they're not usable for a keycap, but sometimes um, keycap makers do make use of them and they convert them into keychains. And so I put my Fubsy keychain on my cute little insects camera because it matches on it. Also in the Valentine's colorway. See? So cute. And if you look at the back of it, it does have like, you know, the, the stem missing and everything. That's why it's a bee stock. But it's very cute. Oh, actually I forgot to mention that. <laughs> When I looked at the back of it, um, they do have a very cool uh, maker's mark that does pay homage to their, um, one of their original, you know, little bottle cap designs. And it is a soda bottle on the back with their initials SC for soda caps. So cute. I think it's a very neat little maker's mark. And then onto one of their newest sculpts, it is the Jam Jam. So it looks like it's Fubsy, but in a little like hoodie pajama, and it's very cute. Um, this one right here, I believe it's the original um, pajama party colorway. So it is Fubsy. He has a white face with black eyes, black nose, and he's wearing what looks like a Rilakkuma hoodie. It is so cute. Like, <laughs> look at it. I was very fortunate to um, actually get this keycap in a keycap trade because I really wanted to get my hands on it, but I didn't manage to get into the sale. So I'm very excited about this cap. And I think this cap's very detailed compared to their other work. He has like little markings on like the hoodie, so it kind of looks like it's a fuzzy hoodie. Um, the real the the face on the hoodie looks very nicely made. It looks just like Rila Kuma, and then the zipper on the hoodie looks very nicely done too. Like there's so much detail. You can see like the little like zipper tie, and then you can see like the zipper zigzags going down, as well as the hoodie drawstrings too. It's very cool. Uh, let me see. Will that? Yes. Focus in. Sorry, I'm, I swear I will get like another camera just to like be able to show you guys like the zoom, like the close-ins on these artisan keycaps. But yeah, it's a very cute colorway. Um, they've been making like, you know, blanks of these. They also made one that looks like Isabel from Animal Crossing and it's very cute. I would love to collect more if I get the chance to. And so overall, um, I would say that all of Sodi Cap's keycaps are very cute. Um, their latest sculpts are incredibly adorable. But you know me, I can't really say anything bad about keycaps that I own because I have them for a reason. Like, I I like them, so I get them. So, like, it, <laughs> I just feel bad if I make, like, a negative review or say something bad about a keycap because that's, like, you know, like, work and creativity put in by like different artists and stuff you know who am i to critique people like that you know 
But um, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys today. And I have recently started, um, what's it called? Sewing masks, you know, like, cause you know, everyone, or not everyone, but you know, in most places, people are required to wear a face mask in order to go outside, whether it be to a supermarket or um, a hospital, like anywhere where you're um, allowed to be at the moment. And so I made these face masks with like a cool little pattern and they're kind of like a fitted to your face of course like if you have like a bigger bigger like you know cheeks or like a bigger nose or maybe like a very small nose or very like you know narrow face it might not fit you very well but i made them in different patterns that i had and you know um i actually made these to match with some keyboard sleeves that i have made so I've made keyboard sleeves. They're all made to fit 60% keyboards, although they're a little on the longer side, so I'm sure you could probably fit a 65% in there. And this is one of the ones that I made recently. It kind of matches with the um, crescent cap too. <laughs> so I think it's fitting to discuss it today. I make these with um, what is it called flannel on the outside so it's very soft you know not necessarily designed for like outdoor use like lugging your keyboard around and like placing it you know on outdoor surfaces or i don't know like benches and stuff it's mostly like indoor office use and then on the inside i put fleece so that way your keyboard doesn't get scratched up or anything i usually choose a color that um, matches the outside color or not necessarily matches it but more so accents it and then I choose a string that does match with the sleeve and I also add on these little drawstring um, thingies I'm not too sure what they're called but they're they're like to tighten up the bag see and then this bag I actually added in a pocket to the inside I did get a comment that said hey I love your bag but I don't use it as much because it doesn't have a pocket on the inside and you know those pockets are oh so essential <laughs> but anyways one of the masks I made does match the sleeve that I made see because this is blue and it has yellow sparkly stars on it and swirlies on it and then this is blue and also has white and yellow stars and here is another bag that I made a while ago. It doesn't necessarily match with the um, mask that I made, but it kind of goes with it. It is a purple galaxy looking bag with navy blue drawstring and the little purple thingy. I'm sorry, I totally forgot what these are called, but I will find out. And then this one, I did make the fleece on the inside to match the outside. And this one is actually um, a sleeve that I messed up on because as you can see it has like a big giant seam right here on the on the outside. You're not supposed to see that. You're, there's only supposed to be like one seam and it is on like, you know, one side. It's not like, you know, on all the sides or anything. So it's kind of like a bee stock bag, but it's still pretty nicely made in my opinion, you know. And here is the mask that I made to like kind of kind of look like it see it's like a space themed oh and my mask you can actually turn them inside out so if you don't like this side then you can turn it inside out and boom another pattern how cool is that and on the inside I actually put a layer of plethon plethlon fabric and it's kind of like a filter so it'll like be a little bit more effective than like a standard mask however like I'm not saying that these are like you know, 100% gonna guarantee like um, you not get infected or you like not pass on your infection, but you know, generally speaking, they're made of three layers, so they're, they're a little bit more secure. <laughs> and then here is a sleeve that, the very first sleeve that I made. <laughs> I, I really like the fabric on this one because it's very shiny, it's iridescent, it's purple, and like at an angle, it looks like a teal color. And then on the inside, it is a soft silver fleece color. 
However, I made it much too wide, as you can see, and like the fabric wasn't very nice because it's already like, you know, like coming apart there. So, you know, what are you going to do? And then, um, this is actually like leftover from some of the fabric I had from the previous bag. And it's kind of like a little pencil case holder. See? Very small. Well, not too small when I hold it, but in person it's small. <laughs> and you could put, put in like pencils or like, I don't know, your stylus or whatever you can fit in here. And it's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, that's mostly what I had to talk about today was just sodi caps, keycaps, along with my keyboard sleeves. Um, it's already a long video, I know, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to finally get this microphone. Hopefully it works. Hopefully you guys like the audio better. Um, and hopefully you guys like my look today. I have on green eyeshadow and a sparkly orange um, lipstick to match my outfit today. It's kind of like a paisley, like hippie looking thing. And then I have white boots on to match. Like, I always get a bunch of compliments on this outfit, so uh, I would show you guys, but I, I, I kind of don't want to stand up. I'm, I'm a little too lazy right now. But, um, sorry about that segue there, but um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say today, and hopefully You'll tune in for my next video. It's going to be a good one. It will be a keycap unboxing video. Um, I won't reveal too much about it, so that way you guys have look forward to it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Um, bye! <laughs>